Welcome to the next stream of the Minor League Baseball Series. Well, he's been good. He's had a solid but anyway, season. guys, if y'all haven't seen the previous stream, you may know the it is in the minor league baseball series bit, playlist. I think the key for him to continue to be successful um, anyway, guys, I do apologize mindset, for pitch pitch, being inning by inning. We'll see if he executes that upset and stuff. And uh, literally, my friend is just uh, just struggling right now. You know. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this show on the road. We we need to uh, get right on it. Are y'all ready to have a good time? Let's play ball. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. HR, you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They've been on a real nice run of late, winning five of their last six games. Yeah, Matt, I mean, they're playing good ball, and here they are already with a one nothing lead, and I think this trend may continue. They're really putting it all together and playing good ball right now. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Hey, nobody! Now the 0-2 pitch. Swing and miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. HR, what's the key to them starting out 1-0 here at home? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. Batting second. Coming to the plate now, Kent Franks. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Zero. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. That's a good pitch right there. If that's any indication of the type of night he's going to have, if he's able to locate that two-seam fastball, they're going to have trouble hitting him. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays off that time, and it's 1-2. and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down on it unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And this is going to be a foul ball. And another foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just got too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. And he takes strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here to open the home first, two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. And this is popped up. Back behind second, De La Cruz is there for it. And that's the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. One inning in the books here. Northwest Arkansas out in front, one to nothing. Stepping up now, Odell Davis. And he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate. Davis. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Lieber is under it. One out. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. We're looking at one of the best defensive teams in the league. They're in the top five in fielding percentage. Not many balls get through here. You're going to have to earn it if you want to beat these guys. Into the box, Ryan Haller, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. 
And that misses for ball one. One out, nobody on. Over toward the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And there's ball two now. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Hard hit ball to second. De La Cruz ranges to his right. In time to first, and there are two away. Stepping into the box, Ryan Tyner. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Swing and a little blooper to center. Piedra moving in, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The throw into second, the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One hits all they get. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Naturals lead it one to nothing. Digging in now, Vincent Huff. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Into the windup and the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Abercrombie ranging into shallow right, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So stepping in, Louis Mora, and he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss. That right there, Matt, may be the best pitch in baseball. I don't know why people don't throw that high fastball more. It is so difficult for a hitter to raise your hands up and try to get on top of that ball. And before you do all that, it's by you. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Didn't mess around much in that at-bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Into the box now, Johnny Carson. And he'll take a look at ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Two down, two down. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Moving under it, Dominique. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Three innings complete. Northwest Arkansas out in front, one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Luis Tejera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Tejera. Fastball is in there. Oh, one's the count. Hey, no outs now. Oh, and one, here it comes. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Fouled back. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. 
Here's another one, two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Digging in for his second at bat, Kent Franks. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Kent Franks. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Well, they have been really aggressive swinging early in the count, early in this game, and that's twofold. You're either not going to get a high pitch count from the pitcher, which could go against you, or you're going to knock him out. We're coming right after him being aggressive. Right now, I think they're just being aggressive. This one's baked out toward right center field. In there, a base hit. Well, that's what you call getting on top of one high fastball, and he was able to stay with it and just slap it the other way for a hit. Standing in now, Ernesto Machado. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here comes the 1-0. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Now he finds himself down 2-0. Oh. It looks like he's just distracted. This is the advantage of having a guy on first base who can run. Swing and he pops it up over toward foul territory. Lieber has a play, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Odell Davis, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Odell Davis. Hit hard on the ground a second. Scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We played four full. The Naturals lead it one to nothing. Striding in once again, Ryan Haller comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ryan Haller. Into the windup and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Rip down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Well, Matt, I don't know if he was trying to go that way or if he's a little bit late. 96 mile an hour is tough to catch up to. But I got to give him credit. He did put the barrel on it. Digging in to try it again. Now Ryan Tyner. Catcher. Ryan Tyner. Hey, we got Noah. So anyway, guys, I won't be talking throughout this game, you know. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And here's a Rolls ball up, hit in the air. Up. Lieber is under it. Makes the play one away. Just to let you guys uh, hear what they're saying. I'll turn it over to them. Now to the plate, Vincent Huff. He's all for one thus far. Vincent Huff. From the stretch. And nope. a neck-high fastball that time. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. He's got it. And indeed, he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. At the plate, Louis Mora. Well, that guy to got a tying run from second with a base Louis hit into the outfield. Mora. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. And 
And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. High pop-up. Nieves is there. I got it, I got it. And that ends the inning. One hit, one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. Northwest Arkansas out in front, one to nothing. Standing in, Johnny Gerson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Left fielder, Johnny Gerson. Nope, now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Hey, we got no one. Here's the pitch. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Quisenberry is over, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Digging in once again, Luis Tejera, 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. One and one, here it comes. Now a swing and a fly ball. Quisenberry on the move. Into the stands, he got it! Ready now, Kent Franks. One for two on his line so far in the game. Kent Hey, we got two! Hey, Peel plays at one here. In nope, tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and oh. Well, that was two quick outs right there, getting those guys in front of him, but now the two-hitter comes to the plate. Right here, you look to either get on base any way you can, hit a gapper, anything, because you want those big boys coming up next. Shoots this one over to first, and he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Well, that's a slider breaking in right there, and if it's not in on your hands, that's a dangerous pitch. He got lucky that ball didn't go further. In now, Ernesto Machado. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Well, that was a big two-out single we just saw. And for pretty All right. obvious Our reasons, second viewer is he went from totally Welcome. under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base. And this is how two-out rallies start. Heapy, 41-510, just joined the stream. Welcome, dude. Call me Cactus. Come what up, man? With the 0 -1. Swing and a miss way How are you today? I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. Time to get this boy out of here. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. Seventh inning coming up. The Naturals lead it one to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Odell Davis. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Odell Davis. I'm getting tired. Into the windup and the pitch. And there's one, one well above the zone for a ball. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. And a strike to even the count. One and one. 
even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Have you been emailing videos? Um, nope. I haven't Here he been comes doing that, on a man. ball and two strikes. Again, he sends it out of play. That's a good pitch right there. Right? I need to. With the fastball. Good job to foul the way with two strikes, though. Fastball. There we go. Missed for the first out. Nice out on that there, one. Taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. Number seven. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Here it comes. And this will be fouled away. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1-1. One and one. One down now. One down. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swinging a ball, hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. One and two, here it comes. And it lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Let's get this guy out of here early. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Stepping in now, Ryan Tyner. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Bases are empty here with two men out. Zero. Could we see another strikeout here? It's 0-2 now. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here's another 0-2. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. At the plate, Vincent Huff. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Baker is getting tired. Into the windup and the pitch. Zero. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. You know, Matt, he's thrown over 60% first pitch fastballs to guys. To, to be as deep in the game as he is, you would think that percentage would be higher. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's 1-1 one and one now. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location, and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. And that misses 2-1. and one. Hey, we got no out. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tie run to the plate. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Man, they're just going to keep me going. Into the box, Louis Mora. Louis. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now action Come on, the Baker. As their Load in there. To get loose out there. 
Grounded back up the middle. And Somebody grab it. Way into center field for a one out hit. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. This is one of those that you need to get in the hit column. This is a good jump start for him. Skipper out of the dugout, making the slow trek to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard, but he cannot lose this one. Chad Dobbs enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. I did pretty good. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Number 55 earns his 12th victory in the ball game. Anton Esposito is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. Harvey Jorgensen closes the door for the save, his 12th of the season. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. That's good, but literally, guys, scoreless game with with that one. I did pretty good. Twelve wins and three losses. An unexpected turn. Jonathan, you've been traded to the Cardinals organization. The Cardinals? Are you serious? I'm afraid so. I'm sorry, son. Sure wasn't my choice. This is just a part of the game, Jonathan. I'm sorry if it's upsetting. Try not to take it personally, though. Just stinks not to finish out with these guys. I know. They're not going to like it either. This is one of the hard parts of this business. What can I do, I guess? What you can do is keep working hard to improve your game. Make a place for yourself with the Royals. And make us regret letting go of you. Well, guys. A minor leaguer is welcome after being brought into a new organization as part of a trade package. Well, this is the start of... The Springfield Cardinals! Hey Jonathan, before we throw you out there, I just want to welcome you to the club. Thank you, sir. His name may not have made headlines in this deal. We are sensitive to how hard it could be being uprooted up abruptly. But we really look forward to working with you here. But if he's a hit in the long run, it could be a real feather in the GM's hat. I'm excited to make a go for it here. All right, then. Get out there and have some fun, kid. Well, guys, we now... They just traded me off to the Springfield Cardinals. And literally, guys... uh. 
moving up and stuff, that's good. I'm going to miss the naturals. They were good to me. Yeah. But at least this uh, minor league baseball series on my channel is good. Because it is going to be something to remember by. Minor League Baseball now on the show now, as our road trip makes a stop in the Double A Texas League. Tonight it's the third of this four game weekend series between the Arkansas Travelers and the Springfield Cardinals. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Number 53 gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on MH? Matt has lost two of the last <laughs> I three love starts. that number. Herbie is struggle. what I call it. And hopefully this outing is a chance to turn it all around and start it in another direction. At the plate, Luis Tejera. He'll get us started in this Leading one under the, the lights. The designated hitter, Luis Tejera. Really? All right. All right. Show on the road. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a pole strike one. Hey, Jerry, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. They come in right in a five game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Look out. They're starting to put Jeez. it together. Quit when calling you get to this me territory to start moving into a week of or solid actually, baseball. I'm sorry. The club's starting to come together. And I'm looking at one right now. I'm sorry, and guys. He'll I didn't stay mean with to it here that. as he That's puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Right, callers. That, here's a look at the visitors starting lineup. How do they get Stop back into the win column me. here, Harold? I think the key to this game is you got to string hits together. They've got a nice lineup, and if they can continue to put the pressure on one guy to the next guy, just keep adding on the hits, they're going to score some runs. So digging in now, Kent Franks. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. We will return right after this. Who is this? They don't even leave me a message. They just keep on sending me one second messages. Seriously, cut it out, please. Jeez. All right, back to the game, guys. Into the windup and the pitch. Well, and a neck high fastball that time. Well, they've really shut him down this series. No hits in the series, and they've done a great job of executing their pitches. They found his weaknesses and stayed with it. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. Bases are empty, one man out. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Stepping in, Odell Davis, and he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. So anyway, I've been traded from Midland and the Naturals, and now the into and the Springfield. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a three. fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. So a fairly painless top of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. 
Stepping into the box, Ryan Leading Howard. He was headless in the shutout Hillen. last night. Ryan Man, Hallett. we're leading it. Sends that one out of play for strike one. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. Zero. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Now on 0-2, oh I don't think we're going to see any more hittable fastballs. If we see one at That's all, it'll one probably be extended out of the zone, or at least that'll be the intent. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, he's a strikeout right here. Foul back. Just got a piece up the line. But that one rolls foul. Another 2-2 offering. Bouncer down the line. But it gets foul. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the home team. And today's starter, this is going to be fun for the defense. He's got low ERA, but he also has a low strikeout rate. What's that mean? It's going to be action. They're going to hit a lot of balls. It's going to be in play. So you got to be ready. As a defender, you love this type of guy to play behind. Into the box now, Harrison Coppola. The average for him entering play, not Harrison far north of Coppola. 200. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. The 0-1 delivery. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now at the plate, Vincent Huff. And the home away Center splits fielding. tell us he's actually quite a bit better Huff. hitting on the road than he is at home. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. So I people. guess at 36, they'll trade me somewhere else. Gameplay stream 36. The mound. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Man, was he flying down the line right there. Now, I know there's two outs, and he's not quitting. Maybe this is a rally starter with a two-out infield single. Yeah, so I guess 36, they'll train me to San Antonio. Louis Mora, as he will take strike one Moore. on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Comes in here right at 260. One home run and 31 RBIs. Plays that one now. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And that slider's almost in the dirt. A runner on first with two away. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. 
And that's lifted in the air out toward left. Martinez is after it. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors. And one man left aboard. On now to the bottom of the second. Springfield's out in front. Three to nothing. Now to the plate. Johnny Carson hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Carson. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A cold strike on the inside corner. The 0-1. Oh, he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And no one will get this one. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Standing in, Raymond Tan he carries a batting line in the 280s to Raymond. begin this one. Into the windup and the pitch. Ball one. One out, nobody on. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Seven games. Hey, that's one week of swing back pretty good. He's comfortable right now. And digging in to try it again. Luis Tejera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Luis Tejera. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a high fastball for a strike. The 0-1 on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. I'm not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Hey, not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2, a fastball. And I think as a hitter right now, you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball. Here's the one and two delivery. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. On the ground up the middle. A step on the back for one. On and the first out. They get the double, double play. play. Get him out of the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And Springfield leads this thing three to nothing. Ready for another chance. Kent Franks. Arkansas. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Frank. All right. Come on, to him on the way. Boy, good oh, fight on the slider, and it just missed Ooh. inside. Wow, that was I a think decent it's breaking a ball right hot there, but here. that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite-handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Now a flare out toward right center. Donald onto the grass, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Boy, he showed some pretty good range, heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but yeah. he clearly had it under control. You know, you know what, guys? I think my fourth favorite would be the Naturals. Stepping First favorite, now. Midland Rock Towns. Second Odell. favorite, San Antonio Missions. Third it's favorite, Corpus Christi Hooks. Up, he went down looking. Fourth, Arkansas Naturals. Right or Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Into his wind up. Here comes the 1 0. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. I think fastball. my fifth if favorite is the Corpus like Christi that, You're going to have a good game. I'm not surprised to look up and say he's having a good game right now because oh, yeah, he's been guys, spotting you that know fastball what? Let me tell y'all something real quick. That's right there at the belt, one and two now. Speaking, one about, bases are empty, the, one man out. speaking about the Midland Rockhounds, I saw one of my friends that played and that's for on and the Midland Rockhounds. He was Looking on to Corpus Christi Hook, number two, Colin Walsh. If you guys know him,
shout out to He'll him for one, it's a pretty good place. He is the Misses batter for second hey, I base. The fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most Se of his teammates they have been hacking at everything that comes man. their way. Or whatever it is. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. Three Ball two. three. Three and two now. This is a really good at bat. This is a kind well, their final of, game to the tonight Regardless is the with outcome, the go, San AB, Antonio man, Mission. Hit on the ground out to short. All right, get him, get him, get him. All right. Striding in once again, Ryan Haller. He's right full for one thus far. Ryan Haller. Yeah, now here we go. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Hey, come on, guys. Somebody goes for the Cardinals. And we'll take a fourth inning break. And literally, I gotta see what the weather is for the San Antonio, Texas area. Oh yeah, we're starting to get some thunderstorm activity. But uh Yeah, it's not moving our direction, but we're hoping to get something. Well anyway, let's continue. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Get them gone. Get them gone. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the <laughs> inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. To All the right. Of we got our third we go. viewer. Welcome, man. In front. Three to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Harrison Coppola comes into this First at bat 0 for 1 in the Harrison ball game. Coppola. Into the windup and the pitch. Fly ball out toward right field. Gonzalez is underneath this one. One pitch, one away. Digging in for his second at bat, Vincent number Huff. 27, Vincent Huff. Hey, we got one. Let's get this guy gone already. Chopped down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. Time to get this guy out of here. Seriously. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Again, a one two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Now at the plate, Louis Mora. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Louis Mora. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Well, that's two quick outs, and he's got a low pitch count. Really being aggressive in the zone has forced him to swing the bats. He's economically low in that pitch count. He's got a chance to go deep in the game. 
A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. Hey, two outs, huh? Get him out early. That's what I could try to do. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Last half of the fifth coming up, and Springfield leads this thing three to nothing. In now, Johnny Carson. He'll start things Leading out in the, the sixth for a lineup that Left really fielder. hasn't found its Johnny groove in this one. Carson. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Baroa waits on it. He's got it one away. One pitch, no base hits. Settling in now, Raymond the catcher, Tan. Number one. Raymond. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. First delivery to him on the way. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. One out, one out. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Now that's that old school slider right there, trying to get in on his hands. We see that with a cutter a lot, but the slider's even more effective because you can't pick up the spin. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Standing in now, Luis Tejera. Luis Tejera. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Hit back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. So we'll go at least one at-bat deeper into the top of the sixth after that two-out success. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores, but man, that ball is hit hard up the middle. He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. Hey, get him the one here. Now about it. Into the box, Kent Franks. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And that's going to land foul. No doubt, this is a steal situation right here. Two outs and the leadoff hitter on first. This is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Gonzalez coming in. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. Springfield's out in front, three to nothing. Ready once again, Odell Davis. It's Arkansas. been an 0 for 2 effort Larry for Bateman. him to this point. Odell Davis. Wait, Odell Davis, okay. First pitch of the at bat. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. The wind up and the 0 1. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0 2 now. Two things pitchers really love, called strike threes, 
and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Digging in, Ryan Haller. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Into the windup and the pitch. Great tilt on the slider on the inside corner. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Three nothing. Springfield leads the uh, Arkansas Travelers. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit out towards second. Donald Get him out of there. With it. And he'll whip oh, this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Digging in the switch hitter, Harrison Coppola. Third trip to the plate for Harrison him here tonight. 0 Coppola. for 2 at this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. And Springfield leads this thing three to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Vincent Huff. We're in the eighth traveling. now, and nothing's Center changed out there on the mound. Vincent. Well, I've been very oh, impressed oh, with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting hey, that Noel. early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Baker is getting Here tired. Is. Swing and a ball hit on the ground to his right, Donald. Throw on the first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. That's a good knockoff right there. Into the box, Louis Mora. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Mora. Hey, come on now, here we go. Into the windup and the pitch. And that misses for ball one. Counts 1 and 0. One down and two to go. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. <laughs> Grounded foul off to the right and over toward the dugout. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Fastball is looked at for strike two. One out, nobody on. And he lays three, off, so it's full now, three and two. Hey, one of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Catch it for the out. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, two are gone to start the eighth inning. Digging in once again, Johnny Carson. Two away oh, here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Johnny yeah, they don't have Carson. a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. This would be my last one. They'll relieve me after this. Sent on the ground out to second. Donald gloves it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. 
So nothing happening this time around. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Springfield's out in front, three to nothing. Your Giuseppe Rutherford comes now, on from the pen, Norris, hoping to finish Bill this one off here in the top of the ninth. 51, Giuseppe Rutherford. And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the season. And he's proven to be as reliable as anyone in the game. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Number 53 records the victory his 13th of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Giuseppe Rutherford Man, closes makes the door some new for the best save friends. his 35th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Pleszak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Springfield Cardinals. Man, I tell you, that was good. That that was a, those plays were brilliant. They were that was an excellent game. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. You've been sitting them down just about as fast as they can stand up lately, Jonathan. Thanks. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up. Just the way you taught me, coach. Wicked stuff. Lethal. All right, so this was evidently my 13th win. All right, let's read some of these social medias. My boy, Jay Baker, just sitting fools down. 10 Ks last game, killing it. Hashtag double digits rule. Uh, at Jonathan was dealing last game, fanning 10 for the Cardinals. Not a, not, not a number guy. But as QS from at Jay Baker means we always have a chance to win when he's around. Yeah, y'all do. All right, guys. Entering a series against the current division leader, this skipper incites his team to gear it up. Let's get this show on the road. We can close the gap on these guys if we take it to them. These next few days... We will extend that gap. If we don't, let's make the most of this opportunity. All right, so we got a brand new month. Literally, guys, the end of the season is near. And literally, let's get this show on the road. We are now playing the same team, Arkansas Travelers. Yeah. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Springfield Cardinals and the Arkansas Travelers. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Anton Esposito will be on the mound for the series opener. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he's got an ERA under four. Now, that's not great, and it's not bad either. He's consistent, and he's a very reliable pitcher. So the thing you like about him, give me the ball, I'm going to go get him, and then you get what you get. At the plate, Luis Tejera. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. All right, you guys ready? Let's play ball. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball here, 0-1. 
H are visitors here as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matt, they're feeling it right now. You know, they're starting to play good ball. They're really playing good. And they're closing in on a division. And this time of the summer, it's all about baseball. You come to the park, the grass is green, you smell the hot dogs, and you're excited to play even in the afternoon during batting practice. And that's what I see with this club right now. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The next 0-2. Slider, good two-strike pitch, but it misses one and two. Now that's that old-school slider right there, trying to get in on his hands. We see that with a cutter a lot, but the slider's even more effective because you can't pick up the spin. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Gonzalez waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. HR, what's the key to them starting out 1-0 and here at home? Well, the key here, Matt, is clearly execute. They got to catch the ball. Johnny Carson will be run. nice. They got to do that on the offensive side. This is the type of team that has to generate and make their own things happen in order to force mistakes on the other team. Now batting, Kent Franks. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. <laughs> Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Foul back. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was Batting right. Third. Into the box, third. Ernesto Machado. Ernesto. Yes, he'll take Machado. a look at ball one. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Two down here. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Soft liner to the left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. We played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Into the box now, Odell Leading Davis. He looked to get something going here. Two in games the scoreless with game. the Arkansas Odell. Travelers. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. He may have to get his eyes checked on that one because if he's looking for fastball, man, he had no chance of catching up to that. He better check his eyes. He was really late. The wind up and the 0 1. And that swung on and fouled straight back. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. We're looking at one of the best defensive teams in the league. They're in the top five in fielding percentage. Not many balls get through here. You're going to have to earn it if you want to beat these guys. Standing in, Ryan Haller, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Hey, we got one. Now here's the pitch. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Hey, every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. 
digging in. Ryan Tyner. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Hey, we got two. Two down. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this is fouled back and out of play. The wind up and the 0 1. Zero. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. And there's number eight, one away. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a fly ball to straightaway left. We'll reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Digging in now, Vincent Huff. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Vincent Huff. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Zero. A wave and a miss, a tick behind no a good fastball. Strike. The lineup top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever. It's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. Fastball hey. called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning just flat out frozen there nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball so I think he wasn't expecting it at all hey let's go right here standing in now Louis Mora little chopper Louis. back to the mound Mora. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Now at the plate, Johnny Carson hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Carson. And here's a pitch inside. Oh, and I just plunked him. Well, this home crowd didn't like this guy in the mound before, but now they really don't like him. He's gotten the faithful all worked up by hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes around to score. Striding in once again, Luis Tejera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Luis Tejera. Man. That wasn't my best flight, but oh well. Somebody's a traitor. A uh, fastball right down the middle for a strike. Matt, in last night's game, this is the situation right here. They didn't do a very good job driving guys in with runs in scoring position. Right here, you got a guy in scoring position. You got. Let's get this over with. Pitch to drive right here. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he got him. You're out, dude. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tied. like this guy is hiding his face from us ready for another chance Kent Franks two on two out for him here in the third swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball two down runners at first and second swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0 2 now well, he's been really cold right now, and again, he finds himself 0-2. When you're struggling, you don't get in hitters' counts, and the other thing that happens, they come right after you. They're not wasting any time coming after him. Two-seamer can't quite make it back over the plate. It's a ball and two strikes.
And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on no hits, one error, and a couple of men left. On now to the top of inning number four, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Digging in for his second at-bat, Ernesto Machado comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here it comes. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's Whoa, one. I thought I hit well, him. If you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Nope. A fastball that just misses inside. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Here's the pitch on two and two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make him swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. a swing and oh man uh oh it's out of here so a solo shot down the line in left eighth home run on the season for him as they get on the board first it's one to nothing Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely Whoa. punished that mistake. That could have been you a have two wonder, right that there. That open the floodgates a little. Stepping in now, Odell Davis. So go after the first pitch Grandma and bounce Baker. it into foul territory. Matt, I'm telling you, pitchers are stubborn, right? He gives up a home run on that very same pitch, but he came back with it. This time he got it down. He's stubborn. I'm going to come back, I'm going to throw it again, but I'm going to execute it. And he did. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Well, that's a nice infield single. And was he flying down the line or what? But, man, he used to say, hey, he's smelling that base hit right there. He was digging for that hit. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan Haller. Right He's 0 for 1 seven. thus far. Ryan Haller. First pitch on its way. And a neck-high fastball that time. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. From the belt, the pitch. That's a ball. Slider just That's off the black one there, one. and it's to two and one now. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was Hello. before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame uh, him. Uh, I don't, Nobody I don't feel like I need to go tonight. Here's a big swing and I, I a miss on the fastball, tired. two and two. This guy's got a good mid-90s I mean, fastball I'm, working in this game. If they think I'm they can catch up to that ball up there, it's going to continue to be a rough game for them. Well, I guess. I don't know. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And this is oh, going to be okay. a foul well. ball. Oh. 
and that misses, so it's a full okay. count, three and two. Wow, talk about right. a race pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. I don't know, guys. They, I, maybe I'm tired or something. I'm drowsy or Good job to My spoil that one away, and he down. stays alive. On, Keeps go. fighting him off. The I eighth pitch of the at bat coming game, up. And then we'll... Just got a piece up the line. That goes foul, oh. so he stays alive with two strikes. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Well, his struggles yeah. continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Let's turn it. In now, Ryan Tyner. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One in, one out. The past out, two days, on I've only had five hours to sleep. I think my brain is tired. And this is going to be a foul ball. Zero. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. The count is one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this one's in the dirt. Oh, there's the error. Relay, three, three, three. So he moves all the way up to third here. When it rains, it pours sometimes, and it's a downpour right now. First and yeah, air, and now we're going to finish ball. this one, they guys. They really need to clean it up and start taking care of the let's baseball. Go ahead and we'll finish from it. the belt. The pitch, and he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Great spot on that two-two fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Into the box now, Vincent Huff. Vincent. He'll have to get out of the way of a slider that runs in a bit too tight. It's ball one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Hey, come on, guys. Let's go. Got hold of him right here. 1 and 0 pitch on the way. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Tell you what, I'm already taking inventory in the fourth inning here, Matt. His secondary pitch has really been effective. He's used it well. He's getting a lot of good results from it. I just wonder if they're going to make an adjustment as the game continues. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Yeah, one and two, here know. it comes. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Rosario goes to get it, and that ends the inning. So one run on two hits with the big blow being the home run. One error in the inning, and a runner left on. We played four Two full. errors for the Travelers lead it one to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Louis Mora, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. I did at Louis least Mora. two strains today. First pitch coming, here it is. And he lays off there, 1 and 0. Here's a high pop up. Rodriguez is there for it. One out. Whew. Is it me or is it hot in here? Stepping in and ready for I'm another literally shot. Sweating. Johnny Carson. Some activity out Carson. in the bullpen now as a couple of left handers begin to stir. Now this pitch is swung on and popped up. And this will also oh, head oh, toward oh. the right side of the infield. Donald. Takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. I'll we'll finish this game and we'll call quit. Ready for another shot now. Luis now Tejera. Batting. He's 0 Down for 2 with a strikeout right in this Luis one. Luis Tejera. Into the windup and the pitch. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball. 1 and 0. Two out, nobody on. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one.
hit back up the middle. A diving try, but uh -oh. he can't Come it on. It's through for a base hit. Eight game streak. He's swinging the bat really well. Digging in once again, Kent Franks. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Bottom of the fifth, we don't First have too much to go. The plate there, and it's ball one. No doubt, this is a steal situation right here. Two outs and the leadoff hitter on first. This is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. 1-0 pitch on the way. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Now he finds himself down 2-0. and oh. It looks like he's just distracted. This is the advantage of having a guy on first base who can run. He's set, and the two and nothing pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but this will get foul, two and one. Now a swing, and he pops him up, right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate, and he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Five innings complete. Arkansas leads this thing, one to nothing. Eli Marmalejo enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number one. All right. Well, this is it, guys. I was relieved in the sixth inning. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Number 56 gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Wow. The final line score for our ball game. Well, I'm going to go ahead and plus upgrade my stuff and then we'll end the video for today, guys. I just I feel tired. I feel I feel like I'm exhausted. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. You've been sitting him down just about as fast as you can stand up, Jonathan. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up. Oh, keep it up, ace. 53. 13 and 3. So, training and perk points. Hey, I've been saving my points, so I've been doing pretty good. Okay, so I don't have enough points for that one. Let's go plus 11. I'll use a little bit of my points, make sure we could go down, maybe just a little bit. Okay, so I can't do that, don't have enough points. So that leaves me nine.
But anyway, I'm doing pretty good. Available showtime. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good. All right. A minor league team is alerted that some important visitors may be coming to town this week. I've been alerted that some higher ups may be showing up to watch you during this homestand. Good night, Grandma. That might mean the farm director or even somebody from the GM's office. So we're going to get some work in before today's game. Time to be your best. Yeah. I don't think I need to be training. I'm good enough. My ball. You know, this this series is starting to turn out pretty good. Anyway, guys, you should never turn down training. Why? How do you think you get better, you cactus? Oh, gee, I don't know. I don't know, old grouchy grandpa. I don't know. Um, anyway, guys, this will be the end. By licking the pickle. No, your train. What? LOL, that's really funny. Anyway, guys, I think this will be it for the evening. Um, I will be back on maybe later. I mean, it just depends. I might just need to get a little rest. Um, anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and literally, we will see y'all in the next video, and most likely, guys, uh, we will be hopefully facing San Antonio, because we get to face them during this time. Anyway, be safe, make some wise choices, we'll see y'all in the next video.